Behind the scenes of One Piece is almost like a dream, and you will be amazed at how it all came together. The things that make One Piece live action great are the beautiful, colorful designs used in every scene with different pirates and their crew. To achieve this, they had to set up in three locations, with the first in Cape Town, South Africa. So if you thought those notable buildings were special effects, then you were wrong, because the world of One Piece was built from the ground up. They had to follow the manga as they recreated the designs of Aichiro Oda. In South Africa, the crew had the leisure to bring all the creative buildings to life. And you can see how it was put together. Because of the level of detail and attention that goes into all of these sets, they take a good amount of time. I mean, right now we're building Arlong's map room. The restaurant Barati was one of the beautiful places in the show that holds a lot of memories for the Straw Hat Pirate crew and was constructed for the series too. Then it was also reported that even though the main set for One Piece was in South Africa, the cast and crew also went to the Canary Islands in Spain and ex carat Quintana Roo in Mexico for the rest of the filming. During production, the cast could document the moments behind the scenes, but they were mostly not allowed to share them until the show was released. However, the cast of One Piece finally had the opportunity to show the fans how they had fun on set with some exciting stories behind them. Starting with the pictures on Emily Rudd's phone, an exciting image popped up. Is that, How cute. That's Peter. Yeah. That's like, God, both of y'all's yeah, teeth yeah. are so white. Emily also captured McKenyu, who plays Zoro on set. You were like just so effortlessly cool. I was like, oh, can I please take a picture? Is this okay? And then you were like, and then Inyaki comes right next to me. <laughs> <laughs> the filming of One Piece took place during COVID, and the cast has proof of this. We shot during COVID, so we had to wear these masks every day. We were the only ones that you got the mask where you could see their faces. Those so I started drawing little mustaches. <laughs> then Taz Skyler, who plays Sanji, has a pretty interesting story of what happened behind the scenes of another picture taken on set. That day was the first day I had to do any stunts on the show, and I remember I was so preoccupied with going. The cast had a lot of fun on set whenever shooting was wasn't going on, and Emily started a trend where she took a selfie with Godoy whenever he was napping on set, and Godoy did the same with her, but they took this further with Langley Kirkwood, who portrays Axe Hand while he slept on set. One thing about the cast is that they never fail to compliment each other, and Godoy has repeatedly praised Taz for his kind heart and compassion on set. And Taz, just out of sympathy, just decided to jump into water, even though he didn't have to, just to bring me company. Like, Aww. That's just the kind of guy he is, know, you know? Just... One of the things that makes One Piece so sweet to follow are the backstories in the show, and this was a challenging thing to do behind the scenes, as the showrunner revealed they had some difficulties. At first, fans were worried the live action wouldn't make sense because many live actions don't live up to expectations, but One Piece has managed to twist that narrative, and the huge reason is that Oda was with them and guided them on the production process. One Piece live action doesn't only have a fantastic cast who were able to bring the characters to life, it's also a series that's so beautiful to watch because of the incredible color mixes in the show. In the anime, many of the characters have colored hair, clothes that are unique to their personalities, and this was also a huge task to translate to live action. And the good thing is Oda already has a color walk for the characters, which helped guide the crew on how to dress up the live action characters. Emily couldn't get over the costume designs as she added that some unique details only true fans would notice were included. However, before post-production and the introduction of CGI, the crew tried their best to make the characters look real by using makeup prosthetics, especially on the fish men. One of the trickiest things was to try and keep all the designs as close as possible to honor Mr. Oda's work and then bring something to screen that looks like it could live in the real world. So they wanted to make them as close to the manga as possible. And the interesting thing about all these is that no change was made on the set without consulting with Oda first, and that means that great respect and attention were given to the original materials throughout the making of One Piece. Another great innovation in the series is the snail phones from the manga, and it was specially built for live action. Snail phone being a perfect example, we did snail phones that you have in the manga, and then the prop crew came up with tiny snail phones that fit in your ear like a Bluetooth. Props then designed a snail megaphone that amplifies the voice across the water. Except for the fishmen and fight wounds that needed extra makeup on set, Godoy also used to get his makeup done every morning, and that's for the scar on his face. While filming, many things were done behind the scenes to make each shot accurate, and one of them has to do with Luffy's unique straw hat. There were multiple straw hats 
for different scenes. There was a specific type of straw hat for the white shots. There was like a, another type of straw hat for the close-ups. So they were constantly changing straw hats on set, even for the fighting scenes. And Godoy worked with many of them, but every one of the straw hats felt unique to him. Godoy revealed that the schedules were much tighter when they started filming on set, as they couldn't do more than three scenes in a day. But soon after, they became more comfortable and better with scheduling and extended it to about five scenes daily. The scene where Luffy and Nami pulled out a safe from Max Han's office was a crazy one, and it was filmed primarily in a way that the cast never experienced before. And uh, we go flying in the air, so they had to like, like lift Emily and me up in the sky with a crane. And like, if it was like some bungee, they just like, let us drop with a camera filming us. Godoy also had another big shock filming the water scenes where his character Luffy drowned because he couldn't swim. I would open my eyes and there will be divers with cameras filming me and I have to act underwater. The actor had difficulty acting in the water because it was freezing and very uncomfortable, but Godoy didn't have further issues with having to endure the physicality of the job as he revealed that what mattered to him mostly during filming was portraying the emotions right. Interestingly, Godoy tried his best to stretch his arm as long as possible to perform many of Luffy's actions in the show, but the special effects team was the one who made the real stretch you see in the show. But there were other options for the long arms on the set at first, as they made a stretchy hand that Godoy could have used, but he didn't get to wear it. Stunts are a big part of One Piece, and the stunt coordinator Franz Spillhouse revealed how McKenyu's previous experience was helpful in his stunts on the show. McKenyu comes with a style of his own already very well versed at katana work. Usopp is another fascinating character in the series. His fun side and famous tales come naturally to the character because the actor, Jacob, is also a goofy person behind the scenes. However, the showrunner, Matt Owens, has a favorite among the straw hats, and that's Sanji, who's very generous with food. And Taz revealed how he prepared for the role behind the scenes. I had to learn how to cook and fight. And I was like, this is gonna be fun. The cast hung out a lot while filming and always took pictures while at it. And this behind the scenes picture of McKenyu, Emily, and Taz while posing in their costumes is one of the pleasant images from the set. McKenyu also shared an adorable selfie with Godoy taken at one of the locations used to portray where Nami grew up. Aside from the exciting and challenging moments that went into filming One Piece, there were also the emotional aspects of it as Godoy met the creator Oda for the first time. To make this happen, Godoy took a trip to Tokyo and was able to ask a few questions he had about the live adaptation, starting from the reason why Oda decided to make the manga into live action. And Oda revealed that the CGI and VFX have improved so much that he knew his creativity could now have a place on TV. He also said he chose Godoy as Luffy because the moment he saw Luffy's audition tape, he discovered he was just like his drawing from the manga. The fun thing about Godoy is that he visited many places to learn more about One Piece during production and he went to the Shueisha manga office where they make mangas, including One Piece. During this trip, he saw and held the first manga Oda wrote in 1997. Getting the giant set together was a lot of work for the cast and crew, and it's fantastic that they could have fun all through. About $18 million was saved for each episode of One Piece, making it one of the most expensive shows ever. Which behind the scenes moment is your favorite? And how do you feel about the exciting and challenging work that went into filming One Piece? Share your thoughts in the comments. 